I want to go to a bigger point when I look at this uh, Golden State Warriors team. As I told you before the season began, that damn Kevin Durant ruined my season. I'm trying to tell you right now. Uh, listen, this dude is just on another level. Now, I know Steph Curry dropped 43. I know Steph Curry is auto otherworldly. We know what him and, and, and Clay Thompson making up the Splash Brothers brings to the equation. But my God. Kevin Durant averaging 26 a game, shooting 54% from the field, shooting about 39% from three-point range. This dude is just on another level, okay? And him being on this, I mean, damn, I'm so sick. I'm sick of him. I'm sick of Jay-Z. I'm sick of all, I'm sick of all of them because they have taken competition. I, I'm just sitting back here right now. I thought I was going to have the finals to look forward to. I thought at least I was going to have the finals to look forward to. Now I'm worried about the damn finals. I'm worried about how competitive it is going to be. I'm worried about the essence of competition for crying out loud. I might not even have it. The way Kevin Durant is flowing with this team and the way he's fitting in and the way they're coming together, how in God's name are they going to stop? It has anybody going to stop them? That was the it's, question it's, when the season started. It's literally gotten to the point where we got – last night, they get, everybody looking at, oh, it was a good game between them and Portland. Steph Curry didn't play last night. They beat him without Steph Curry. I mean, I, I'm, just, I'm just looking at the – I'm looking at the Golden State Warriors, and I'm like, damn it, this is just not fair. And that damn Max Kellerman, I was thinking about him, Molly. I was thinking about Max Kellerman because I said, you know, he's all happy. Oh, it's a super team. Oh, we got to wait. Wait till the finals. Wait till the finals. Blah, 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 blah. No, this is like watching, uh, you know, and one competition. <laughs> they are doing what they awesome. want, when they the want. NBA. They're and Harlem they, Globetrotter listen, listen, in the NBA. You know, Harlem Globetrotter in the NBA. I like that. That'll work for me for the moment. But I'm telling you right now, I look forward to competition, competitiveness. Well, I mean, look, Where is it? What do you think I mean, is going to happen, I mean, nobody can touch these boys. What? It's a damn shame. They we call Kevin Durant the second best player in the world because we give deference and respect to LeBron, LeBron. who's a reigning defending yeah. NBA champion, a three-time champion, who usually gets an advantage over, K over KD in big moments. That's the only reason. LeBron is not a better shooter. LeBron is not more accurate from the free throw line. LeBron is not a dude that you'd want the ball in his hands ahead of KD when time winds down for most people. You don't want that. Kevin Durant legitimately forces you to debate, is this the best player on the planet? And the dude is 6'11 with a 7'6 wingspan who can handle the ball, pull up from three, has a mid-range game, can get to the hole, goes to the free throw line, is a career 88% free throw defense. shooter. He plays defense again. I mean, now all of a sudden, Golden State's number one in block shots, number one in steals, number one in disruptive shots, all because he's there with Draymond and the Dollar and Clay. Try and, this. And, and, and listen, when and, they play and, five and, and, out and now. And it allows them to disguise Steph Curry even more. Damn it, it ain't fair.